Hello, I'm Kurt, and this is Simple Shop Creation. This is part two of designing a barn door. Before we get into actual designing the barn door, I just want to remind you that I use a Windows PC, therefore all my shortcut keys will be based on the Windows keyboard. Also, don't forget to check down below as there will be chapters and also a link to the first part of this series. I'm using Eastern Yellow Pine for the barn door, which has been milled to approximately eight feet long by five and a half inches wide by three quarters of an inch thick. So with that, let's continue on with part two of designing the barn door. Continue and now let's build the header board. I think it's gonna get screwed into the studs and that the spacers for the barn door rail will get screwed into. The wood being used again is uh, Eastern Yellow Pine. Uh, the header board here will be four inches thick, I mean four inches wide, six feet long and three quarters of an inch thick. And it'll be a half an inch above the top door jam. So let's go ahead and draw it off to the side here. And then we'll just snap it in, into place. So let's go ahead. So we're gonna hit R for rectangle. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna see the bottom right that the first dimension will be the length. So we type in 72, comma, for enter. P, push pull, select, pull it towards you, 0.754. Thickness. Yep. Triple click. And let's make it to let's make it a component, but let's not make it a component component right yet. Let's go ahead and hit B and let's find a wood pattern. I'm gonna do a dark dark wood. So we're gonna put that on. And now we have simulated wood feature. Now we're gonna do G. I'm gonna call this um, header board, even though it's not a true header board. And now we have it. So next, we want to be half inch here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it flat on top of this molding here so I can snap it to the wall, and then I'll just move it a half an inch. So let's go ahead and hit M for move. And I'm just going to grab it in the midpoint here. And let's see what we can do. See, we can snap it okay. Now, we can see this is far away from the, the wall itself. So let's just pan, H the pan, and we'll rotate it around and we'll see how well. So you can see here, we still have a gap. So let's snap this over here. M for move. Let's grab it. Now it looks like it snapped on face of wall. Click. Space bar. And let's pan this into a proper position. And now we got to see what we have here. All right, so I don't really know what, I don't know what the, this gap size is. So I'm gonna again hit M and then I'm gonna snap this down onto edge. And it snapped down to edge. Now we know how much we need to move it now, which is a, a, an exact half inch. So let's highlight this again. And we can see that went into the wall. So let's go ahead and type M, bring it out. There we go. Let's do M. So I'm gonna click it again. I'm gonna move it up, but I'm gonna lock it to the blue plane by hitting the up arrow key once and then type in a 0.5, enter. And now it's done. Space bar, click anywhere. And that is done. So let's go ahead and click free space. And now we have to move this over 
a bit so we can So now we're gonna spacebar highlight M. And now we want to, I'm gonna hit the shift key to lock it into that plane. And there we go. Pan out. And we're still at the half inch mark. So now we got our header board in place. Next is we're gonna have to put spacers in here. So let's go ahead and draw a center line across this header board. So we're gonna hit um, T. And let's see if we can find the midpoint somewhere around here. All right, so we're on midpoint. Click once. So we know this is four inches width. So we'll bring it down. We'll just type in two, enter. And now we have our center line. Next, the railing, since I bought the railing from, a, from one of the big box stores, and I won't mention Home Depot's name. So the barn door rail that I have, the first hole starts at approximately six inches in. And the second and uh, and the second hole on this side here starts approximately seven inches in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a circle that's about an inch here and there, and then we'll make a copy. Then we'll make a few in the middle here. We'll copy a few. So let's first co come in seven inches, uh, six inches on this one. I'm just going to go ahead and do the tape measure. Yep, we're on the header board, and we're going to come in six. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw my circle. C. We're in the intersection. Go out. Now we're going to do 0.5 because it's the radius dimension, not a diameter dimension. That's a little small. Let's hit Control Z and let's do five eighths. All right, that's a little better. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to make it a component. We're going to call it spacer. Let's call it. Uh, so we'll go to G, S P A C E R. Hit Enter. We have the spacer. Now I'm going to go to the other side. H for Pan Tool. T. Make sure we're on the wall. Get we're on the edge of the wall. Move it. Seven. Enter. Space bar. Components. House. Baseball. And baseball. And spacer. Bring it over. I'm gonna put it over here. Tape tool. And then I'm going to hit the tape tool. There's our center. I'm going to type M. Bring it over. I'm going to snap to the intersection. Done. And let's go ahead and delete our guidelines. Pan a little bit. Bring in. Bring it in a little bit more. So next here, I have a total of four, total of four um, spacers. So now I'm going to go ahead and make two additional spacers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to type in M. First, I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to type M. I'm going to bring it. Bring it on here, click, slash, slash, three, enter, and now we have it. Now I have two on here, so we're just going to go ahead, M, I'm going to grab one, and see if we got two, just bring it over here and then delete, and that is good. I did that on purpose to just to make sure I had these, these two lined properly, so I wasn't trying to guess to, um, when I slid this copy one over here. So all you have to do is just bring it up and just delete it like I did. I'm going to highlight this one, right mouse click, edit component, push pull, 
after you click the interior click and now my spacers are one and three eighths one and three eighths inches from the wall from the head the header board so one space three slash eight enter that's good space bar b and let's pick a color it's they're actually black so let's find colors and scroll down let's get black and then let's just click one of these and it should all turn black let's make sure space bar all right so we have to do the size so let's go ahead and click this right mouse click add a component b and click the back here and now we have I think you should do all of them space bar free space and it did all of them we'll just add it away next we're gonna do the barn door rail that the wheels of the barn door um, ride on and that rail is a quarter inch thick six feet long and one and a half inches wide and we're just gonna put it along the center of here so again let's draw this off the wall a little bit we're going to draw it up here so r make sure on the green plane you can always hit the left arrow key and we see the first dimension is the length so we're going to type in 72 comma 1.5 enter space bar p for push pull select it bring it towards you and put in 0.25 enter obviously you can put in one slash four and now we have and now we have our rail so let's make sure of this it's a little thick yep seven eighths <laughs> so there's two ways we can fix this one we can go ahead and push pull a certain set a value back or we can just hit control z control z brings us to the flat again hit p click once bring it out towards you 0.25 enter space bar and double check and that is much better let's make it a component triple click and we'll call it barn rail g barn rail born rail hit enter next we have to align it on the center of these so I'm going to zoom in a little bit I'm going to do a rotation zoom in pan down a little bit uh, so I want to draw basically a snap line here. So I'm going to go to L. So we're on the center point of the header board, which is fine. Let's go ahead, click once, and I want to bring it on the green. And then we're just going to go ahead and do that. So when I go to snap this, I have a place where I can snap it because I'm going to grab... The center of this so I'm gonna hit M I want to grab the center of this and that's gonna go ahead and just snap it hopefully I can snap it right there space bar free space and let's see how far so as you can see here we are a little bit of a distance away so let's go ahead and pan here get in let's get in get in now if we want to we can click this here so we can see it so I'm going to see how far from this point to this point is and then move it that distance. So we're going to hit T. We're on end of the spacer. Click once and let's see if we get on the face. Hit the left arrow key. There we go. One and three sixteenths. So we can go ahead and delete that line. So next we got to find our center point here and then we're just going to push it back X amount of space. So we can do it over here. Let's see what we're getting. We just highlight M.
That looks about right. So let's go ahead and turn this around a little bit. Click it. Now see it moved once. One space. Three slash sixteen. Enter. And it looks like we're on the spacers. Oh boy. So here we go. Now let's see if we're somewhat in the center. Yes, looks like we're good in the center. I'm just going to go ahead and click that and delete that. I'm going to triple click this and then go into edit mode right away. B. Make sure that's clicked. I'm just going to go click this space bar. Free, click in the free space. And then now we have our rail, barn door rail in place. Now the next step is to measure how high or how wide, long your barn door is going to be. Now my barn door with the hangers, the top of the barn door hangs approximately half an inch below the barn, below the bottom of the barn rail and approximately a quarter of an inch above the floor. So we want to take a measurement from there to here and subtract three quarters of an inch of that measurement. So let's go ahead and see if we can't do that reasonably well. So we're going to hit the tape tool to run edge of the barn rail, which we want to be click once, bring it down and let's see if we can hit. Yep. So 85 and one eighth. That should be the floor. 85 and one eighth minus three quarters of an inch should give us 84 and three eighths of an inch. Next, we need to know the width of the barn door, which remember can't be any greater than 36 inches. And that's because the wall is 36 inches. So we measure it 36 inches from here. So let's go from this point, the tip of that edge of the wall, and we're bringing out 36 inches. You can see 36 inches is going to cover part of that door. So we, we want to be no longer than this. So our barn door can be 30, 35 and seven inch, uh, 35 and seven eighths of an inch wide. So remember those two values, 84 and three eighths and 35 and seven eighths inches wide. Now I'm using again, yellow Eastern pine that's been milled to five and a quarter inch or five and a half inches thick. I mean, in width and it's three quarters of an inch thick. So again, the mill, um, the wood that I'm using is, um, yellow Eastern pine. It's a, it's a soft pine, very soft pine, but it's light and it can handle the weight of itself with all the screws in and, and uh, type of glass or tempered glass or uh, plexiglass slash acrylic glass you're going to put in there. So it's not that heavy of wood. So the first step is we're going to draw our front part of the door because the barn door is two halves. You have a front half, three quarters of an inch, and then you have a back half that's three quarters of an inch for a total of an inch and a half inch thickness of the barn door. So let's go ahead and draw the front barn door. And now let's draw a long, our long frame. So R, free space, click anywhere, bring it down. And then let's do our dimension. So the long frame side of the barn door is going to be 3.5 inches wide. I got a double there, five comma. 84 space three slash h of an inch that's good p push pull and we know it's 0.75 thickness double click i mean triple click make it a component g 
long frame. Let's do, let's do front long frame. Hit enter. That's the first one. Now we know we are 30 five and seven eighths and uh, 35 and seven eighths of an inch wide and that's outside dimension to outside dimension so let's do t select anywhere in there bring this over and we're going to do 35 space seven slash eight enter boom now we have that let's highlight this m grab control key now see we're on the red plane you're just going to hit the right arrow key and it keeps us on the red red plane you can see you got highlighted even further and it snaps there space bar free space click free space t and let's confirm our length and sit spot on and two so we got that good now we can go ahead and highlight that and delete now next is going to be our short frame or our short cross members here and they're going to be whatever the interior length of this is, but they're five and a half inches in thickness. So let's pan, bring it down, zoom in, and let's draw our rectangle here. So we're going to hit R. Let's go on this, and let's just go here. So we want to be on the, the green, so hit the left arrow key, and just snap it there. We're on edge of front frame so you see first dimension will be 20 8 inches and 7 lace so we're going to do 28 space 7 slash 8 7 slash 8 comma and we know it's 5.5 inches got it I'm just going to spin around to the back here P push pull P push pull select it Bring it towards you and then there we have it triple click to highlight it nope space bar I mean free space triple click now it's fully highlighted G and let's call this front short oh, we we'll got a space there short uh, frame it's okay next I'm going to zoom out one more click M so I want five openings in my barn door so I'm going to create a total of five more gives a total of six cross members so I'm actually going to take it from this point here I'm going to go down click once Control key, hit the up arrow key to keep it on that plane, slide it all the way down till it snaps. Click once, slash five, because we want, a, we want a total of six cross members. So we need an additional five more, and we count the one we just moved. So five, enter, and there we have it. Now we have our front frame of the barn door. Let's go ahead and make this a complete component. Highlight it all. G, and we'll call it a front. Uh, let's call it bar door front. So we're going to call it B, A, R, and barn door front. F, F, R, O, N, T, and space bar. So next, let's go ahead and draw the back half of the barn door. The back half of the barn door will have these little grooves going all the way around to hold your glass um, in there, tempered glass or acrylic or plexiglass, glass, whatever glass you choose to use or window you choose to, to choose to use. So basically it's going to be a quarter of an inch all the way around and three sixteenths of an inch deep. So you would think I would just go into components, bring it over and do a whole bunch of uh, other things here. But, um, I'm just going to go ahead and redraw the back again. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to 
hit R, we already know what our dimensions are. So if this go down here, and we know we're 3.5 width, and we are 84 space 5 slash 8. Enter, space bar, P, push pull, hot, click it, 0.75 thick, space bar. Let's make sure it looks good. Yes, it does. T for take tool, bring it over. 35 space 7 slash 8 enter space bar highlight triple click G that's not gonna be good so G and we're gonna call this back long uh, back long frame or we have a component we don't care M, let's grab this, control copy, right arrow key to keep on the plane and snap it, boom, done, snap, space bar, and now let's draw our slats. So we know our slats are 28 and 7 eighths wide by 5 and a half inches wide. So let's go ahead and draw that. So we're going to click here, come here, green, the green plane. So that's your left arrow key. We're on the edge and we know the first dimension is the length. So 28 space slash that eight comma five dot five enter space bar. And let's see where we are. Okay. So let's go around to the back here. P, click that, bring it towards you, point seven five, enter, done, space around. Now we have to do the same thing again here. We're going to zoom up, zoom up, space bar, triple click, which I hope we are selected. G, I'm just going to call it short. We're going to call it back. short frame enter highlight M grab the corner bring it down blue axis so that's the up arrow key control snap click once slash five enter and now we have the same exact spacing as these. Let's go ahead and measure our grooves along the side here. So we know, again, we're going to be a quarter inch all the way around and three sixteenths of an inch in thickness or depth of cut. So we're going to go ahead and type in T, make sure we're on the frame, go over 0.25, enter. On this one here, doesn't matter where we are, go down, 0.25, enter, same thing here, up, 0.25, enter, that did not look like it worked, space bar, delete, uh, highlight, and then delete, try it again, T, are we on the edge, yes, go up, 0.25, enter, and the same thing here, move over, 0.25, enter, and we're good. Next, we're going to have to highlight, right mouse click, edit component. Let's zoom in a little more. H, bring it here, zoom in one more time. R, rectangle, select the endpoint, and then snap up to here to here. Click once. P, push pull. Click it once, and see so you can bring it back. And then we're going to type in 3 slash 16. Enter, gives us our depth. Space, space free space and then let's see something here let's go to I notice it made a groove on all these and including this one here on the bottom so let's go ahead right mouse click that make it unique and then we're gonna flip along the blue and let's see here yes good 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 H, 
bring down now I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna highlight this one right mouse click make unique and then let's continue on and draw this group so highlight right mouse click edit component let's zoom in a little more H move kind of pen yes good R we're at an intersection which is fine grab it snap it to the endpoint P push pull highlight that one click that one 3 slash 16 enter spacebar free click free space and let's zoom out and look what we have here let's do H it's not on the top there it didn't do anything there we'll grow down and it didn't do anything to that one so now we have our grooves or a rabbit or simulated rabbit cut next is to do here so let's go ahead and do zoom in bring down zoom in spacebar highlight triple click to edit or again free space here highlight right mouse click edit component r i'm going to spin this around now oops let's go ahead and spin this around bring it here and let's go from that point to this point P, push, pull, highlight that, push it that way, and type in 0.25, and space, free space. We're out of the edit mode temporarily. We're going to go back into it in a second. I'm just going to highlight this, and let's see what happened here. That looks good. And notice, it did it on that side, but we'll correct that in a minute. However, it only did it there. So we can or have to do it a couple more times. Spacebar, pan up, and we are done. Let me just get this. Yep, see here, what we did on this side automatically went to that side. So we're going to have to flip it. Let's just go ahead and delete our guidelines. Spacebar, highlight, right mouse click. And let's see. Let's flip along the red. Oh boy. And that is good. So now we have our grooves for our barn door. H. Let me highlight this. And we're going to do B. We're going to do a fill. Let's go to the wood textures. And we'll just click that one again. And let's just click this. Boom. Make sure it gets all the way around. Good, good, good. Space bar. So next, let's go ahead and put our windows in. And we need to measure the width of this so we know we're going to leave a 16 inch gap all the way around so let's go ahead and do the tape measure we'll go on this looks like it's pretty good and we're 29 and 3 8 at 29 3 8 so we minus an eighth of an inch gives us 29 and a quarter and let's see what we get over here we're on edge of that and let's see if we can get on the edge of this 10 and 13 16 minus an eighth so we have our uh, dimensions of 29 and a quarter and 10 and 11 16 Next, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a little taper line here. That's fine. On short. Move it over. We're going to do 1 slash 16. Enter. This is our taper line. And then we're good there. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Zoom out a little bit. Let's draw our window in free space. So we're going to do R, and we know that the first dimension is going to be the length, which is 29.25, comma, 10, space, 11, slash, 16. Oops. 16. Enter. B. Click the glass. Space bar. P, click, 
and it's 0.125 or one eighth of an inch thick. Let's spin this around here. Yep, looks like it is. It's got some thickness to it. And let's triple click this. And G window. And we're good to go. Zoom in. H. Let's zoom in a little more. H. Let's bring it over here. All right. So I have it there. We're going to select M. Let's find a center point here. Let's find the mid. There's the midpoint. Boom. Midpoint. And we can eye this up. It doesn't have to be precise. We want to be on. Let's click it. Space. Free space. Let's see what we have here. Zoom in. I'm going to zoom in here a little more. Is it on? Looks like it might be on this. So let's come in, orbit. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click this. M. Let me orbit here a little more. Yeah, it's on that. So we're going to come out. I want to move it. Shift key to stay on our thing here. Let's move it. At, uh, I think we're in the full length, so we're gonna afford a full. The, I think I'm in the full thickness. So one slash eight, enter spacebar, and let's rotate through here and see what we have now. And I think we're on. Yeah, it looks like we're right on there. So what we can do to determine if we're Flush, take tool, take that corner, and yep, there we are. Move it, space. Now we have fun to do the rest. So we are now done with our barn door. So we're going to do a couple more things here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this guideline. Well, we'll just go into this menu. Delete. Next, I'm going to color this. Now I'm going to click everything but the glass here, and then I'm going to make it the same color as that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll, we'll select one of the uh, components, hold down the control key, click, 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 click clicky and click and click B for the fill tool and we're going to select our wood paste on there click on there turn around and it looks good nope we'll accept that one my god what happened let's go back control Z control key click on that one B grab our and now it's all done Spin it around, looks good. Space bar, get rid of that. Click in free space, turn it around, and then let's just go ahead and highlight everything. G, barn, as we call it, uh, back. Barn, door. So that's good. Next, we are going to, I'm just going to, oops, M. It's going to move it, I guess, a little closer there. Space bar, free space, and we're good. So next, I'm going to grab this one and plop it on top of that. So let's zoom in a little bit. Click, M, let's see if I can grab that corner. Snap it, space. 
age the pan, orbit a little bit. Looks good. So to know, since it's three quarters and three quarters of an inch, we should have an inch and a half in thickness of the complete door. T tape measure on it. And yes, that is correct. Zoom out a little bit. H space bar and let's highlight the whole thing G and we'll call it barn door okay zoom out a little bit M a little bit closer to the wall for a minute space bar H pan zoom in rotate a little bit here I'm going to draw a simulated hangers. I'm not going to draw the wheels on the hangers. I'm just going to go ahead and draw the hangers here. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to pan over here, reorbit, and the door is the door is it's hung approximately a half an inch, half half inch below the railing here. So I'm going to do T. I'm on the edge of the railing. Click once, go down, 0.5, enter, space. That is done. So let's go ahead and first draw a square flush from here. I mean a rectangle flush from here to there. So it's it's gonna be the top plate here. We're just gonna make it roughly the dimensions are. I'm gonna come in right about there and go over. Say on the blue plane, if you're having difficulty, up arrow key. And let's take a look here. So the length of the base plate, now there, this is one piece, but I'm gonna draw it in two pieces here, is 5.5 comma one and three eighths thick. I mean uh, width, so one space three slash eight, enter. It's fine. Now we're gonna go ahead and select P, push pull, Click it, bring it up, and it's a quarter inch thick. And then I'm going to triple click it and make it a component G, and we're going to call it plate, base plate, P L A T E, and hit OK. B, and let's find colors, C, colors, and we're going to go down to this color, click it good and remove that next in the center so off camera I mean off the site here we're gonna draw a rectangle that's up so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna hit R I'm gonna come down we want to be on the green so hit your left arrow key and that's gonna be the width is one and five slash eight, comma, five dot five, enter, it's kind of small. <laughs> so let's just hit our space bar, grab that M, bring it towards here, click it, P, and it's, again, quarter inch thick. Enter space, triple click G, and we call it stem. B for highlight, I mean to color it, and then we have it. Move this out of the way. Now you can see here we are off, so let's go ahead and do an M. We're in midpoint. And there it is. Midpoint. Zoom out. And now let's go ahead and click this bottom one, G, and call it hanger. And OK. Move out. Rotate a little bit. 
Let's go to our components. Drag this one out. And for now, we'll just put it here. M. And see if we snap there. Looks okay. Now we want to make this a little even here. M spacebar click. M snap. Good. Create space, delete, zoom out. Approximately my barn door is out from the wall 1 and 13 16. Approximate. Yours might be different. All depends how you hang your door so let's go ahead and for its and giggles we know that the top of this door the wood door is a half inch from the bottom of the rail here so let's highlight this M I'm going to let's bring it over here and let's just snap it okay let's go here and let's see how well we did we did pretty horrible oh was that flush against the wall that's even better so yeah, let's make this flush against the wall because then we're just going to move it out to the prescribed length that we want. So let's go ahead and M. I'm going to bring this up. So that's OC. That's way out there like that. So let's go ahead and do M. Click it once. Now let's move it out this way. But I want to stay on this that plane, the green. And then we're going to type in 1 space 13 slash 16. Enter. And now let's see where we are. So we're not quite on that line here. So let's go ahead and move this up so we're going to do m i want to see let's not do m let's see how far we are so let's do t from here let's bring it down up arrow key so it looks like it's five eighths of an inch you can double check this again no it's actually half inch Let's go ahead and do that. Spacebar, click, M, click once, bring it up. You want to be in the blue, uh, we want to stay in the blue axis, so hit the up arrow key and put in 0.5, enter, space, and now we, yes, we're right on that. Free space, highlight it, it might be a little, little bit higher. No, that looks pretty good. Delete. And there you have your simulated barn door so you can see how it looks. Now when you move this barn door completely over, it's not going to cover the whole molding because this is going to be wider than 36 inches, these two pieces of molding. So you got to do the best you can in such a small space. Now the rest of this is my laundry room back here. And by putting this barn door on, the original door swung into the laundry room and now we have even more space in the laundry room to put stuff so there you have it the barn door is now complete so with that have yourself a healthy and wonderful day